What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another fragrance video. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Lloyd with Russell Reviews. Um, I talk fragrances, go over some lists, and just, just talk colognes and fragrances. Today, I'm going to be talking about Latafa Assad Zanzibar. If you guys can like, comment, share, and hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel, it greatly helps me out. Um, I'm a little over halfway there. Um, my birthday is next month, August 9th. If we can get to 1,000 uh, followers, it would be greatly appreciated. What I have in my hand, like I said, is Latafa Assad Zanzibar. If you haven't heard about this fragrance, this is a coconut creamy tonka bean watery fragrance um, by the house of Latafa. First off, let's go over the, the presentation. I don't have the box anymore. But the bottle is the same as the other. If you're familiar with Latafa Assad, which is a clone of um, Dior Sauvage Elixir, it feels the same, looks the same, just different color. Um, got the uh, cap up top, comes off like this. That's what the atomizer looks like. It's nice looking, it's plastic, but uh, let's get a uh, spray on the hand. I was gonna, I. I don't know if you saw I was going to spray in there. I'm like, why would I, you know, spray in the air? It's just going to go away. Okay, so in the opening of Latafa Assad Zanzibar, I get kind of a chocolatey. Now, it's not chocolate, but something like it must be like that tonka bean. To my nose, it's kind of like a sweet chocolatey tonka bean vanilla smell. Mixed with a beautiful, like, coconut. This is so good. Yeah, it, 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 if you're familiar with, uh, Jean Paul Gaultier Lebeau, um, this is, this, this kind of walks the path of Lebeau. It's not like, from what I have, uh, read and what I've heard, this is a, this is an original, uh, release. It's not a clone of Lebeau, you know, it's kind of like Lebeau kind of did that with coconut. I feel like, you know, with like the, the Creed with the pineapple. Now, when new fragrances come out with coconut, people are going to think, automatically think Lebeau. This is not a clone of uh, JPG Lebeau. Walks the path, but it doesn't smell like it. This right here is a little heavier, not as light. Um, it's a little more creamy, a little darker. It's not a dark fragrance, but just Lebeau is a little more bright and uplifting. This is a little more like creamy, tonka bean, coconut fragrance. Uh, it's it's coconut with like a chocolatey type of smell to my nose, like a chocolatey type, type of tonka bean, creamy, tonka bean, creamy smell. That's the best way I can put it. Um, but it's a great fragrance, though. Um, for the season that we're having right now for spring and summer, this is a fantastic spring and summer fragrance. Um, it's, it, it performs well enough. It's strong enough where yes, it can, um, it, it can work in, uh, any season, honestly, but, but the sweetness though, this is a little, a little more youthful, playful type of, um, scent profile. If you want to be taken serious, I don't really, I don't recommend wearing this like business meetings, going out to dates and stuff, unless it's like a summer day and, you know, with your girlfriend or whatever, you know, it, you're going to smell sweet and coconut shavings type of smell. So, yeah, it's it's a versatile, great, sweet fragrance. Um, let's touch on performance because I know performance is, it, it's important. I want a fragrance that's last in 30 minutes. So, on my skin, this gets anywhere between comfortably six to eight hours. Um, it, it, it's the, the, the pushes off uh kind of moderate it doesn't scream off the skin um after four to five six hours um i have gotten a couple compliments um my wife and both my daughters uh like this fragrance so they enjoy when i wear it um after a few hours they can still smell it and they basically um i was told that it just smells it smells what i was told it smells fresh clean and sweet so Without getting into the notes, I've gotten some feedback where people said it smells fresh, clean, and sweet. Um, 
but yeah for us enthusiasts and stuff and talking over notes yes it does have a coconut note you can smell that coconut so this is a sweet coconut kind of tonka bean vanilla chocolatey type of fragrance i don't know i've never heard really anyone say it my nose could be broke but it kind of gives me like a chocolatey type of vibe strange really good though but uh yeah i mean it's it's a great fragrance do i think it's if you have lebo is it um is it redundant to have in your collection i don't think so um just because like i said in the in the beginning lebo is a little more light airy a little more like kind of i, I don't know the, the coconut just it comes off different in this um so if you have uh lebo it's not redundant to have this in your collection they, they you can use them in different um situations but uh but yeah um that is my take on uh, Latafa Asad Zanzibar. It's a great fragrance, beautiful looking bottle. I, I love this fragrance. So yeah, um, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, if you guys can like, comment, and subscribe, um, and hit that bell notification so you can get notified for future fragrance videos and reviews. Um, I wanna say happy 4th of July to everybody. That's tomorrow. I have a video coming out. So um, if you hit that bell notification, you can get notified and check out that video. So yeah, uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.